What's up ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube world, this is Chris and this is my channel Born on 11970 and as always thank you so much for taking the time to check out what I have to say. And as you can see by the title of this video, I have given this a lot of thought and it's actually funny because throughout history people have asked this question time and time again and the more I have been kind of looking inward instead of outward the answers become easier and easier to find. Now, obviously, this isn't going to resonate with everybody because we're all at different levels. We're all here experiencing different experiences. So as far as if this message resonates with you or not, basically depends on what level you're at. So because I can't answer that, I won't know what kind of response I'll get. So I'm just going to say from my point of view what I believe or what I know in my own heart which is probably the better word to use because we're trying to get ourselves off the belief system, is the following information about why we're here. The conclusion that I've pretty much drawn is the fact that for whatever reason, why, and we may not ever know everything, is we come to this planet Earth, which is a three or four dimensional realm, depending on, you know, if you want to include time as a fourth dimension, but a, a, a very solid type of place. Because if you are any kind of religious person, you know all about the soul. And even if you're not, I'm sure you've heard about the soul, which is what you're created of. It's your energy, it's your source, it's your information, it's your heart, it's your love, whatever you want to call it. Now, since we cannot pinpoint that in our bodies, there is something more spiritual to it, more ethereal belief is irrelevant. So for whatever reason, we decide to come from the ether, the universe, from being a light being, and come here to experience what it's like to be in a more quote-unquote physical realm. We have different experiences while we're here. Some of us learn some of us repeat the same mistakes over and over again. And if you think of this planet in a way like school, that you only get to the next grade when you pass whatever it is you've been learning. And if you don't, you keep getting left back. That would explain things like reincarnation. It would explain the whole deja vu at times and people that have gotten to certain levels where they feel like I've done this before, I've been here before and it makes sense and they could never understand why and why there'll be other people that are calling things like this crazy and don't believe it. Well, again, I've said in several videos, especially recently, that a belief system is a control system and if you want to continue to use belief to run your life, you are always going to look externally instead of internally. And because whatever you want to call the creator of all things, whether it be God, whether it be single consciousness, that's up to you. I'm not here to tell you how to believe or what to know in your own heart. But because it's made of pure love and it's basically trying to experience everything through your eyes, the gift that we have that we are not aware of is the gift of creating whatever we want based on either one of two things, our actions or our inactions. In other words, you do something or you don't do something, but there is always a consequence. So in this world, we realize that the more we do not try and change what is wrong in this world, the worse it becomes. And it's almost like the universe trying to say, this is what will happen if you choose to pretend it's not there or um, feel like it's not your part or not your place. And it's kind of like, all right, we'll keep making it worse and worse and worse until you have no choice. It's almost like a relationship. If, you, if two people are not meant to be together, eventually things start getting challenging. Then they start getting difficult. Then they start getting impossible. And then eventually, even if you two said, we're going to hold on through thick and thin, eventually things can get so bad, you have no choice but to leave. 
And the longer we hold on to the belief system, the more pain we experience. Because for some reason, think of this world like the college of the universe, where we come here to learn the lowest of the lows, which is murder and suicide and rapes and the worst things that you could think of. Cruelty to animals, cruelty to children, starvation, disease. But then the highest of highs of finding somebody that you could spend the whole rest of your life with, loving them, to be able to rescue an animal and feel that gift of life, to see a newborn baby being born and know that's part of you. So there's always a price to pay with everything in this, in this existence. There's give and take, there's that balance. It's just a fact of positive and negative, the yin and the yang, the light and the dark. For some reason, we've been told that that means good and evil. And that's why if you take the word God and add an O, it's good. And you take the word devil and take away the letter D, it's evil. It's all supposed to be teaching us here about good and evil. When it's nothing more than positive and negative. Light and dark. It's the... Energy of the universe, which we're all consisting of, what we're all made of, because we're light beings, we're made of atoms, particles of light. That is why God is the light of the world. And it's all being held together through magnetism. And the more condensed the molecules are, the more solid it appears. But it's almost like watching a show. That it's almost, it's an interactive show. And that's what I talk about with my other video about making your own amusement park, where you're given the free reins to create whatever you want, which means if you want to create a devil, if you want to create hate, murder, and all these other evil things. And for some reason, if you can take a positive experience out of it, and most people say, well, how do you get a bad experience? Uh, how do you take a good experience out of something like the devil? Well, if you grow up with a belief system that says, if you're bad, then you will be punished and go to hell where you will see the devil who will control you for all eternity. And that motivates you to do good using that fear in a positive way is still beneficial. So you can learn from any experience. The problem is there are unfortunate corrupt people that manipulate us through our emotions and through our ignorance and guide us in certain directions giving us the illusion of choice, the illusion of freedom, when they're basically guiding us in a certain direction. So if a person wants to be angry all their life, that's a, a wonderful experience that they want. But don't complain about how your life is not the way you want it to be when all you're giving off is negative energy, because you will get what you give. And it's the same thing with giving out nothing but love. If you experience that love and the kindness and caring and helping and wisdom and knowledge and everything that's positive, you're going to start attracting that as well. But you have to be willing to accept it. It's okay to be humble. You don't want to be vain. Well, I mean, if that's an experience you want, you could basically be whatever you want. You could create whatever world you want. But you have to comprehend the fact that you're responsible for the world that you create. You know, think of it like the Sims video game. The more things you put into it, the more interactions you're going to get, the more situations that will occur. So if you decide in your video game, well, I'm making all these buildings and all these people are living in it and ha ha ha, I think I'll destroy that building. Well, you now you're responsible for murdering several hundred or several thousand people. So everything that you choose to do or not do will always have a consequence. The problem is we all think that if we look the other way, that everything's going to be fine. Or if we really want something, instead of looking deep within ourselves and looking into your hearts and feeling the love, we get down on our knees and pray to something that is actually inside us because we are made from that source. Man is, what's, is the person that tricked us into believing that God is separate from us or even he doesn't exist. And if people want to believe in the fact, well, if there's a God, there has to be a devil. Well, that's an experience you can choose. I choose to not have that experience in my world, in my creation. So 
we are here to just experience just whatever it is that we're here for. And to come here, there is a price. We forget where we come from because you cannot have a, an experience if you already know where you're coming from and what the outcome will ultimately end up. Because then that's like having the answers to a test. You're, you haven't learned anything. So we have to forget coming here, why we came here. And people can debate this, they can argue it, they cannot believe it, but just think about how you're born. Where do you come from? Because when you have an, a sperm fertilizing an egg and they meet, it creates a single cell. And then it just keeps dividing and dividing and dividing until all of a sudden there's a creature, a being, a human being, a human, Hugh, which is God. If you actually look up the word Hugh, it's gr the, the, the word H-U, Hugh, I believe is Greek for God. So God, man, Hugh, man, Hugh, man, being. It's all in the words. That's why it's talking about intelligence, insight, inner sight. It's all a beautiful experience if you want it to be, but it can also be a horrible experience if you want it to be. For whatever reason, you're here to experience that. Now, the thing of it is, it's if you understand or understand that it's nothing more than an experience and you can look at it from the sidelines, it will never affect you unless you allow it to, unless you give your consent for it to be that way. And there are people who will use your doubt, your fear, your ignorance, your naivety, your trust, your loyalty, your patriotism against you. And there are people who know how to play the game and they love people that choose to experience ignorance because they take advantage of them. So my videos may not resonate with everybody. I'm perfectly fine with that. But all of this information I've gotten from inside myself, I'm not reading anymore. I'm not looking at other people's videos. I'm not listening to what other people have to say because that's going outside my own creation, which means I'm not secure, in, secure enough in myself to learn everything I need and I need others to do it for me. That's like hiring a person to drive my car. How can I ever experience the joy of what it feels like to be behind that wheel if somebody else is doing it for me? You know, just imagine if you were a race car driver, a NASCAR, and you had to sit on the passenger side while somebody else was driving. Do you really want to put your trust in someone else? Because they may not be lying. They may not be trying to hurt you, but they can make mistakes that you may not have. And now you've taken your life, your being, and saying, here, you deal with it. I'm too afraid to. And we wonder why things are not working the way we want them to. Look at the way the world is right now. If you think that's just a coincidence, I got the interesting news for you. It's what you are here to witness, what you are here to experience. It's that hello McFly moment. Are you willing to hear? Are you willing to listen? Are you willing to trust your instinct? And the beautiful thing is, since we're made of light, light can never be destroyed. It can just disperse. So when you die, you're just leaving your body and going somewhere else, maybe to start over another adventure, or maybe to go back to the source, which is nothing but love. So that's why I find it funny when some people make comments of saying this is very satanic things. I'm, I had failed to see how pure love is evil. But if you want to experience it that way and take negative out of everything, well, obviously you're here to understand or understand negativity. So it's just another experience. So I'm going to leave this video relatively short. I hope this helps you. And if it does, I ask you to um, subscribe if you haven't. Check out my other videos if you haven't watched them before, especially my must-watch videos. Pass this along so other people can see it and watch it with a loved one. It's time for us to take responsibility from within. Because the outside is just a reflection of the inside. 
and I hope you will. So thanks for watching, guys. I am going to enjoy the rest of my night, and I hope you shall do the same. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, Barnon11970. And don't forget, guys, to have your trolls spayed or neutered. Peace.